You okay? Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Together. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I can do. Same thing! 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 Same thing!
Every promise spoken I can and will do Well, my name is LeBrent Speed. I'm uh, the founder and the uh, president of Transform Men International, a men's ministry, uh, really focus, focused on discipleship and focused at uh, helping men uh, becoming everything they need to be in Christ. Um, my, you know, I'm from Minneapolis, from north side of Minneapolis, grew up here, went to North High School. Uh, and, and frankly, these last couple of weeks have really been challenging, uh, seeing uh, someone that looked like me around my age uh, be snuffed out in front of me. It was, it was debilitating. It was hard for me to focus, hard for me to, to keep, keep tasks. And, and then I'm talking to my son. My son doesn't live here, but my son lives in North Carolina. And uh, he's 18 years old. And he's talking about how frustrating it is and how, how difficult it is to know what to do to keep himself safe. And as a father, I think it's more challenging when you don't have answers to give to your son. You don't, you can't tell him comply because comply doesn't necessarily mean he'll be okay. Uh, if you, if you, you don't want him to resist because you know that can be worse. So as a, as a, as a black man, it's just difficult to know what to do. And, and on top of that, you get all the other things on social media, people uh, who you thought were for you, believed in you, still don't empathize with you. Uh, so it's been difficult. I, I can't, I can't express how difficult and challenging it has been. But what I am encouraged by, I'm encouraged that there is a remnant of people I'm uh, coming across certain believers that want to see significant change. And one of the ways I've, God has been in, in prayer and just talking to people, reading the word, one of the things I have to, we have to say that the way things are going to change is that, one, we're going to have to focus on the reality. You know, people often said that the church has been silent when it comes to racism, but the church has never been silent. The church has been complicit. And so we need to be honest with that. Stop hiding behind the fact that we've been silent. We need to focus on it. No, we just need to be honest. But what once we're honest, I believe there's something that can happen from here. I really believe, I believe that God is doing something by his spirit, that in the midst of this tragedy, travesty, in the midst of this, this hurt, in the midst of this pain, God can do something really unique. And I believe he's touching people's hearts. He's touching their minds, and he's showing them what's really happening, what's really going on. And I believe there's going to be a wave of people, real remnant of people, that are going to stand up and say, we want to see significant change. People are going to come together, black, white, and different backgrounds are going to come together and say, I want to be a part of that change. And I'm excited about that. I've been talking to more people who don't just want to talk about things, who just don't want to share stories, but they want to say, how can I change? And I think we're seeing it across our nation. And I think it's incumbent upon the people of God to take uh, full advantage of this opportunity. Uh, when things like this happen, uh, when, when, when the, the things have been revealed, it's now time for us to stand up and say, what is the church going to do? How are we going to respond? Now, I believe there are action steps the church can take in order to really eradicate this. And so I believe that God can use this and allow his spirit to pour out on us. Uh, we know through the Bible that in the midst of opposition, in the midst of persecution, God's spirit was always there. Uh, in the midst of Paul and Silas in prison, there was always God's spirit. In the midst of, uh, of, the, of the slavery, God was still bringing the spirit to bring them out. I believe that in every situation, God's spirit will come and he will bring liberty because whom the sun set free is free indeed. And I believe now it's time for us to take hold of that liberty together and start showing them what the church really can be and who we really are. See, I know victory has got to be ahead of me. Oh, come on, beyond what I see, I know victory has got to be ahead of me. Oh, Saint Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, yeah. many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord. Delivers us from them all. Oh, yeah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. Yeah, yeah. beyond what I see, I know victory. Yeah. It's gotta be ahead of me. It's gotta be ahead of me. It's gotta be ahead of me. Hey. 
gotta be ahead of me yeah. Beyond what I see, I know victory It's gotta be ahead of me Come on, Kenny! Tanya Hughes, Kendrick here, wanting to say hello and to chat about all of what's happening here in the world right now. 2020 did not start the way that I anticipated. Of course, you know we are in the middle of a pandemic. And then unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, we just witnessed the tragic murder of George Floyd right here in Minneapolis. I was asked a question, how has this affected me? Um... For the first time, I believe it's affected me to take action. This was a, a murder that was really close to home and I kept rehearsing and rehearsing in my mind that could have been anyone that I know. Um, and so I just, for the first time, feel like I need to do something about it. His death has caught the attention of the entire country. I was just singing the other day um, at one of George's vigils, a change is gonna come. And actually, 
I believe that we are in the change now. So a change is already here. I've not witnessed things um, move so quickly as they are right now. Um, from the conviction of the officers to them talking about police reform and many other things that they are, uh, um, are looking at to change. And so I believe that we are in the change right now. And so um, as a believer, um, you know, I have a lot of white friends, a lot of white pastor friends. Um, I lead worship at a white, uh, predominantly white Lutheran church. Um, and as a believer, we have got to make sure that our hearts are always postured right. Um, because it's so easy when stuff like this happens, it's easy um, to hide things in our hearts. So our prayer should always be, Lord, search my heart. Um, you know me. You search me, make sure that there's nothing in there um, that isn't like you. Um, so always make sure that your your heart is postured uh, the right way. Um, and so I just want to encourage you, um, again, as I was singing that song, A Change Is Gonna Come, it is here. I want you to hold on, don't give up, and just know that justice will be served. Um, God has heard the cries of his people, and I believe that we are in the middle of a revolution right now. So be encouraged. I love you. This song is called Forgive, written by Sarah Renner Nate Saban and Rick Barron, and I believe it's so appropriate for the time that we're in right now. of you, a part of me, is frozen in our tragedy, so many words left unsaid, are still ringing in your head, let all the demons that let you hear disappear. If you wanna live, forgive. Oh, oh, oh. We walk this world with wounded. Define our faces by our scars To pain begins to taste like freedom Oh yes, and bitterness is who we are Before the ones who loved you here Disappear if you want to live, forgive. Let this pain pour out like water through a sieve. Heal this endless ache and be set free. And sweep the wreckage to the safe side.
Hi, everybody. My name is Cortland Pickens, an artist here in the Twin Cities area. I'm also a choir teacher um, at Patrick Henry High School, Fair High School, and Franklin Middle School. Um, I wanted to come out today and to share a few of my thoughts and to sing you guys a song of hope. Um, I will say when I got the news of George Floyd, um, I couldn't sleep. I literally remember bawling all night, Tuesday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, just praying, asking God for how long, how long will our people have to suffer at the hand of injustice? Um, and I just remember just crying, just that was my prayer, God, for how long? I just kept saying it, for how long, for how long? I felt like I didn't get an answer in that moment, um, but later on throughout the week, I got a message from God that was reassurance to me, just saying, I am here and I am still in control. And that message encouraged me so much because sometimes I don't think we realize that um, when we go through those hard trials, that God is present even in those moments as well. Um, and I always, I'm a firm believer that when things get really bad, something good is going to come out of it. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but for me to see our communities, not just locally, but um, worldwide, internationally, how we're all starting to unite and come together, to me, God is up to something major. And I'm encouraged to know that um, God has the final say. And like he told me, he is still in control. So my confidence is in him. My trust is in him. And today I want to share with you guys a song um, that I wrote, and it's called Trust in You. And I pray that this song actually touches your heart and um, inspires you to just trust, put your trust and confidence in Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our faith. Sorrows come and pain surrounds. I'll choose to wait and trust your will. The wicked one, mine enemy, whom shall I fear when God is near? Trouble to never reside, running with nowhere to hide. You were my only desire. God, I need you. I will trust in you, God, I will, and I will trust in you, God, uncertainties cloud your plans for me, where will I go? Hope in the future is what you promised me. It's my destiny, and I believe. Trouble don't never reside, running with nowhere to hide. You were my only desire. God, I need you, so I will trust in you. God, I will. Yes, I will, I will trust in you, God, I will, come on, say it with me this time, oh God, I will trust in you, God, and some trust in horses, some trust in men, but I will choose to hold your hand. Storms may come, winds may blow, you're the anchor of my soul. No mountains high and valleys low, 
you were present help and I will trust you yes I will God I will trust you yes I will yes Jesus so I will trust in you God come on let's make that conscious decision today and just say say I will trust My ways may not be easy, God, and my vision isn't sure, God. God, we will trust your plans for our lives and do it over and over and over again. Yeah. I love this part. Watch this thing. Say, trouble don't never be side, running with nowhere to hide. Thank you guys so much. Again, my name is Cortland Pickens. I hope this song encourages you. I love you.
up, y'all. It is the Hearst Family Experience. Hey, come on. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are here just to sing a few songs just in celebration of life and love and joy yeah. in these times of sorrow and despair and confusion and frustration and anger. Yeah. All these things are happening, but within ourselves, we know we have joy come and on. we That's are right. leaning into the joy because that is our strength. So we just are excited to be here to sing um, um, and celebrate each other as a family um, in the midst of all these trials and troubles and people um um being anger or angry and fed up yeah. um and so um it's affected us even i think yeah. all of us well it's um, a rightful anger so. yeah for sure yeah. for sure yeah. um and and it's crazy because i know a lot of people they've texted me or called me and asked me like are you okay is everything right. all right? right and i think um even though this has happened in minnesota before um, but people are really attentive right yeah. now. Yeah. And so I think it's very important for us to take period. this opportunity to make a change and, yes. and talk about what are the next steps. So these things, so George Floyd, Philando Castile, Eric Garner, Mike Brown, these things don't happen again. Yeah. Sandra Bland, uh, Breonna Taylor. Um, Clark Baby. Yeah, we, 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 and we Lamar. have to... We have to start a conversation and even further create an actionable strategy to create an equitable America because yeah. that is what is needed for us to all be um, um, the land of the free. And, and, and we'll, know, we'll know when the equity is there because we won't have to even use the word no more. Yeah, you know, right. then, exactly. then we'll know that the equity is actually there. But right now we know it's not there because we have to ask for it. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it it definitely is a time for change. You know, yeah. that change is starting to happen. And I think it's just because people are so tired of being treated unfairly, unjustly, right. and being murdered in the street like it's nothing. You know, so it definitely it this one I think has just struck us in a different way. Yeah. I mean, we've all been um affected by all of those that have been murdered. But for some reason, this one is just like, you know, we're fed up. We're yeah. tired of this same old thing happening and no justice taking place. Right. So it's just it's just time for yeah. for that change and for justice and peace and love and being able to get along with our fellow brothers yeah. and sisters. Sure. And the Here reason there's is. the reason there's so much uh, attention being on it is because there aren't any distractions right now. Yeah, the pandemic nothing, opened up the door yeah, for people nothing, to pay attention. You you can't you can't go and watch the NBA and the NFL when you get home. Exactly. You have to you like this one you have to feel. Exactly. So I just want to encourage everybody. We want to encourage everybody feel to it. use your voice and feel this. Yeah. Yeah. Use your voice, use your body, um, uh, use your money, build your community, yes. put yes. your money where your <laughs> mouth is, y'all. Yeah. This is the time to do it. Uh, there's there's no time like the present right now. And we just want to encourage you, please. Do and start it. cycling. Just do it. Let's start cycling our money amongst one another, y'all. Yeah. Let's 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 start making our money cycle at least three, four, five, six times before it go out of our community. Yes. Let's start doing what we need to do to make that money cycle within us. And uh, to my understanding, there's a rumor out that folks is getting together to buy a bank. So you know, You're praise the Lord. Let me know. And let me tell you something. Find out. Y'all need to vote. Okay. No, please. come on, Listen, please, y'all do that. I'm please. not no preacher, but don't push me. Uh, hey. Okay, <laughs> y'all need to get out and vote because one of the realities, and I think it came to the forefront of 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 the situation currently. Um, if Mike Freeman had, because he was voted into his position, he was the counsel for the case, and I think we um um um. We bartered our power when we voted in Keith Ellison, and he was able to take over the case. Right. Yes. And if we had not voted him in, if we had not used our voice and used our power to vote, that would not have happened. Right. And it would have been a even more unfortunate situation than I think it is now. So I think it's very, very important that we use the power of our voices and our power of our vote. Please, yes. community, black people, people of color, vote yeah, vote, vote, I think this vote, was a great vote. opportunity for that power to be unveiled. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and what do you say? Now that'll preach. That'll preach. Now that'll <laughs> preach. Okay. I feel like we're on your we'll podcast. <laughs> I feel like we're on Brawls Off. I don't know. That's fine. Y'all know. <laughs> tune in. You know what Stay I'm saying? Tuned. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. We've been to Hurst Family. Hey, we'll see y'all I'm later. David.
I'm Rachel. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Jackson Hurst. See and we love y'all. We, we love y'all. Come on! Come on Let's here. worship God. Let's Come lift him up and magnify him. How many need the glory of God to be revealed in your life? That's what we're about to sing about. Yes, Lord. Let's lift him up together, y'all. Come on. Glory to Jesus, great power in his hand. Glory to Jesus, great power in his hand. Glory to Jesus, by his stripes we are healed. Glory to Jesus, by his stripes oh, we are healed. Glory to Jesus, who lives down within. Glory to yes. Jesus, who lives yes. down within. Glory to Jesus, who died for our sins. Thank Glory you, Lord. to Jesus, Hallelujah. who died for us.
God is going to cause you to be victorious. Come on. Remember? Remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Keep it holy. Set apart. Set apart for its purpose. And this day, say. And this day. We take the time. We praise and we worship. Oh. As we rest, as we rest in your presence, in your presence. Say it one more time. Come on. Remember the Sabbath. Remember the Sabbath. Every day is a Sabbath, y'all. Come on. Keep it holy. We gotta keep it holy, cause it's set apart. Set apart for your purpose. For the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Come on. And this day. And this day. We praise. We praise and we, we worship, worship as we rest. As we rest. Come on. In your presence. Here we go. Cast your cares upon the Lord. He cares for you. Say. He cares for you. I don't care where you come from. He cares for and it you. Doesn't His promises are ever, ever, 